So as we look at 2017, you know, that this really is a pivotal year for Armstrong. As we move from a, you know, a provider of really high performance equipment and solutions going right up to optimization, move into that new connected world that we're all living in now. So where it's not just about the potential performance, but it's about the real performance in real time and the impact that has on money, on energy, on the planet, and ultimately for a building owner, for their, their tenants, the comfort and safety of a tenant. So when we talk about moving into that building performance management world, that's what we're talking about, is that change from just being a provider to being a leader and showing continued innovation around particularly getting in that connected real-time world. Uh, big things we're seeing, and I think that number one is, if you look at the market and all the players, the contractors, the engineers, the owners, the facility managers, operate, owner operators, you know, it's been a, everyone counted on the engineer to get the design right. Contractor then tried to do things at the lowest possible cost, not necessarily to what the engineer wanted, and really not necessarily to get the best performance for the owner. So it's getting to be a bit of a disconnect. And I think what we've been seeing as we talk to owners and operators in this new world, they care deeply about energy, they care deeply about sustainability, and they're way more active in driving the decisions and the solutions that are going into the marketplace. So it's coming from the top down. So we wanted to make sure we reflected that trend and we're responding to that trend. I think second is the pervasiveness of this connectivity theme is today, you shouldn't be doing anything that isn't connected. You can't do anything that isn't providing new information more important, these things have to provide insight and actionable data, things you can do something about. But going back to the owners and engineers, they want insight that they can take action on. You can't do that if you're not connected. So that huge theme around connectivity. The younger generation, and I think that's the one we've got to take into consideration heavily, is the, the millennials. That if you look at what's going on, new engineers, new contracting people, Owners, you know, as they bring up the next crop, they're all looking for that real-time, right now, application-based, pervasive data, everything at my fingertips. I don't really want to sit down and talk to people. I want to do everything with apps and through the connected world. So that's a huge theme. So again, ties into the connectivity. If we're, as a provider, not thinking about that broad set of requirements, we aren't going to get there. So with that, in case you haven't guessed what our theme is, that's the uh, pause, pause for effect. So we went with uh, living performance, and there, there's a number of reasons we did that. Living, we're really trying to reflect both the human element. This is about the planet. It is about energy. It is about people. It's about doing the right things. It's about their comfort and safety. More importantly, living is, as we all know, real life intrudes on our plans. So you get into the technical world, the HVAC systems world, there's all the theory, there's all the design, there's what the potential of the system is, and then there's the real life performance of what's happening right now. That's been the disconnect in the market and that's what we're trying to drive to is that real life performance. So right now, giving you insight in real time that you can take an action on to make sure you're getting true performance, not theoretical performance. Then performance, uh, it's every aspect of it, but I would summarize it quickly as saving energy, save money, save the planet, and do all of that while you're taking care of your tenants, their comfort and their safety. So it's a lot, lot to keep in mind, but that's what we the thinking that went behind living performance. It's about living in real time, dealing with things in real time, and making changes and improving things in real time. So first is on the design envelope pump side. We're building on our com continued commitments around lowest installed cost and lowest operating cost with our completely new line. So that includes a completely new one to 10 horsepower line. I will proudly preview uh, the Tango, which I'll talk about in a minute. So we do have a, you know, a complete range one to 10 horsepower single, the Tango as we're calling this one takes two to tango, I'm sure you get the, you get it. 
the coordinated dance, it's, it's beautiful, it's flows, it's uh, everything that goes into it. So completely new 1 to 10 horsepower range, completely new hydraulics, new motor technology. Uh, what we're most proud of is the Armstrong IECM technology, where we're building on the ECM technology, the efficiency, the IE4 levels of efficiency that come with these new motors, and extending that with Armstrong's integrated controls and logic and in extended intelligence that take that performance to one more level. Okay, so you'll, you'll see us talking about Armstrong IECM for intelligent ECM, driving that technology. Equally important is every one of our offerings now, from one horsepower to 1,250 horsepower, offer net new intelligence and the connected world. So every one of our pumps has an onboard web server, so you can connect to it by walking up to it with your iPad, your smartphone, connect to any pump that we manufacture from one horsepower to 1,250 horsepower. You can see flow, you can see any of the performance attributes, you can configure, you can commission, you can start them all up without physically touching the pump. So I think for uh, contractors, if you think about that, you've got a pump in a really horrible place you've had to install. Now you're going to do the startup and commissioning on the whole system. You don't have to crawl under pipes, over pipes, into the back, you know, all the horrible things that contractors, installers, and support people have to do. You can walk into the mechanical room, pumps identify themselves, you can do anything you can do on the intuitive touch screen. You can do from your iPad or your smart device. So that's first level of connectivity, just really enabling that, really simplifying things for the, the uh, contractor or the person doing the install or maintenance on these units. Second is when you get into the new connected world, we are announcing the new pump manager offerings. So difference being, that's an internet based application that's delivered as a performance service a subscription service. So while here you can walk out, connect to one pump and deal with one pump, there you can connect to a multitude of pumps and get a total view of say one complete mechanical room. Or if you're an owner or a facility manager looking at a you know, portfolio of buildings, you can see every pump in every building all in one place, including what's their current performance, what's their current status, are they going to impact anything? Idea being you get to that predictive and proactive world where as an owner, particularly if you get in a hospital, pharmaceutical plant, data center, you can't afford outages. So you need to move to that predictive and proactive world. So we're offering that through the new connected world and the pump manager offering. Third one is around the pump manager offering. So that really completes the uh, performance management story. You combine the newest in the pumps with the full capability, one to 1,250 horsepower, combine that with the remote management services and performance services, you get that, what we're calling living performance. The completely new range of circulators. So I, I'm happy to think that we, in this set of announcements, we've got something for everybody. So people doing the residential and smaller stuff, we have now what I believe is one of the highest efficiency range of circulators in the marketplace. So we've built on our traditional, I think uh, all of you have seen the Compass that we introduced last year, or two years ago. We've extended that with a new model of that one, the Compass H, which adds new connectivity, extended intelligence. You can tie those right into your systems now. They aren't just sitting and running. Automatic, they are self-balancing. They are doing all the uh, variable speed. We're expanding that with the unit you see up in the front here, uh, Compass R. So building on the uh, ECM technology, that is the compass range with onboard intelligence. So it embodies all of the Armstrong IECM capabilities. So real time, super efficient. So again, you're up into the, if you're, everybody's following the DOE levels of efficiency and what they're demanding, uh, IE4 that's supported by these units is already 20% more than the DOEs already defined for their future requirement. You get into the combination of the intelligent ECM. We're well beyond the North American standards and well ahead of even the Europeans who are very aggressive on what we're doing. And one thing I'd be remiss if I did not talk about the, uh, the elephant in the room in almost every markets, which is energy retrofits. So this, this sounds all exciting, but this is not about just new buildings. 
This is absolutely 100% applicable to retrofits. And I think the uh, really doesn't matter where a company or a customer is in their life cycle or in their own energy journey. Are they ready to start it? Or are they just thinking about it now? We have a complete range of solutions to offer to them. If you have two-year-old product in your mechanical room, it's already energy obsolete. Particularly if you don't know what it's doing. If it's not connected, you don't think it, it doesn't have the IE4 level of efficiency, it's already obsolete. And it doesn't matter if it's mechanical obsolescence or uh, you know, the uh, efficiency obsolescence. That's one thing. More importantly, I think customers now are, everybody knows green is important. They know they need to move on it. But it's uh, amazing when you, I'm sure as you talk to customers, they all, you hear things like, I, we've got a green initiative, I just don't know where to start. There's so much confusion out there. How do I learn more about all the retrofit and rebates that are available to me? How do those apply? How would I even start the project? Like, is there a way to understand where my current energy performance sits? So when you look at what uh, Armstrong's talking about when we think, think at retrofit, we mean everything from helping you as a customer understand where you are, simple walkthrough, full energy audit, up into if you are doing a complete redesign, we can drive that with you as well, right up to including full mechanical room. If you want to take a very practical approach, circulators are a great place to start. You know, there's a 30% energy efficiency saving just by putting in Compass H or Compass R instead of an existing offering. We also announced uh, our standard three-piece S&H, three-piece circulators with the ECM motors as well. As soon as they, and it's a swap out, you leave the uh, everything intact, change the old induction motor, put the ECM motor on, on average 25% or more energy savings just by changing the motor. And the pricing of the motors is well below trying to replace with a net new pump. So simple replacement market. It's the uh, 4200H. We've had a huge in interest in that one in the US. So that is our design envelope VILs that we've been pushing for years on its side. So offering all the value, all the energy savings, all the maintenance savings, installed costs, operating cost savings, but in a format that fits. If you've got customers, and I know, well, everybody talks to owners that has buildings in the 30 to 50 year vintage. They've got tons, sorry, bad grammar again. They have tons of old horizontal pumps in place. These are a drop-in replacement, again, delivering on average 30 to 40% energy savings immediately. So they fund themselves in less than a year just by swapping them in. What most customers are finding is that's a quick entry path into a complete energy retrofit program. They take the savings on just those pumps, use that to fund the next steps in a complete program. Then for those customers that are looking at our, we're lucky enough to be Armstrong customers already. We offer the uh, vertical inline retrofit. So that's a drop in replacement. If you had an older Armstrong unit that was a constant speed or our earlier designs, pop the motor and impeller off, uh, drop that one in, same casing, no disturbance to the system. Again, immediate 30 to 40% energy savings, even on our equipment. So again, going to our commitment to going back to our legacy of obsolete products and bringing people up into the new world. So what I would say by way of uh, closing, if I net that all down to you know, where we're going, is we're building on the design envelope promise we made to the market, and I know all of you have been covering really well for us around that lowest installed cost and lowest operating cost and lowest impact on the planet. So we're extending that by moving into that new connected world, trying to get at what the real issues are, retrofits, designs that are sustainable, performance that's sustainable, and then doing all that in a context of, we know the younger generation's coming. You know, we're, we're ready for that. And I believe together, you combine all of that with what people are driving to, we can deliver living performance. <music>